Hello, I'm Joel Barthelemy, Managing Director of Global Med. Eleven years ago, this was a small startup company in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, we are leading the way in the new generation of healthcare, what is frequently called telemedicine. Our systems utilize technology to provide access to healthcare for people in rural and remote locations. They make it more convenient for patients and physicians and help hold down the costs without sacrificing quality. Using these proven technologies, our systems have been shown to provide more timely care and help improve the patient outcomes. Now, let's meet some of the dedicated people here at Global Med. We build consistent products with consistent quality that deliver consistent health care to our customers. Um, I'm responsible for the product management group and we are collectively responsible for defining what our products are today, what they'll be tomorrow, and ensuring that those product specifications meet an actual demand and a need in the marketplace. And it's important because the products are the lifeblood of our company and they're, um, they are who we are. I get to work with some of the industry's most talented engineers developing some of the coolest new medical type products that we have. And I think it's important because uh, Global Med is on the edge of cutting all the new, uh, new products out into the market right now. I manage the uh, software development activities for our products. Uh, and uh, that encompasses both the website and, and the, uh, the desktop side and the mobile side. Um, so all parts of that. Um, it's important for me uh, working here, first of all, it's very cutting edge technology, so it's very exciting work, and it's very meaningful work, meaning that we are, we are actually helping improve healthcare uh, globally, but primarily in the United States right now, but globally for uh, uh, um, all types of patients, uh, not only making it uh, improving the quality, but making it uh, much more affordable. I'm an associate product manager, um, so my job is to help uh, sure, what the customer wants is what they get in our products, um, that we're going in the right direction, um, that it meets the needs of the customers. Um, our overall goal is to help the healthcare delivery system, um, improving access to care to areas that don't normally get that um, through our technology. So focusing on the workflow and how we can make things more efficient while, as, while also cutting costs. Well, I am the office manager for Global Med. And what's important about that is that I am the first voice that people hear or even talk to as they come through the front door. I, re I represent the entire company and how I treat our customers, our visitors that come through the front door is what they, they get, that's how they get their impression of our company. If I'm doing my job, then they're going to want to come back, they're going to want to use our products and uh, it's very, very important that they understand that telemedicine is going to save lives, it's going to reduce health costs, and uh, I want them to know that we're the number one company to come to for whatever they need. Yeah, I'm a regional sales manager for the Southeast Territory of the United States, and uh, why it's important is I get to educate end users on telemedicine. A lot of disparate healthcare systems, a lot of rural communities that desperately need healthcare reform and the ability to receive healthcare in geographically challenged environments. Well, I am responsible for the marketing department here, and our job is to basically educate people about telemedicine. So we call it educational marketing, where our sole job is to just really give examples and use cases for why telemedicine, the broad array of, of locations and devices and care pathways to really ultimately inspire doctors and clinicians to envision how they can transform their practice to an e-based practice where they can expand patients, retain patients, offer better access to care, overall better quality of care at a lower price. Well, I, I'm the online content manager. So uh, basically I manage the social media uh, pages, our uh, website. Uh, I also write press releases and um, kind of, uh, you know, basically work to uh, integrate all our, our communications here. So. And I really enjoy it. And um, I think that, uh, you know, we're the, as a marketing department, we're the face of Global Med. And so it's very uh, important that we uh, put on a good face and, and let people know uh, what we do here. 
I uh, provide technical support for uh, all of our customers outside of the company. And basically the importance behind that is we just make sure everyone is up and running and getting exactly what they need on time and making sure that the equipment works as expected. Well, what we do here is we build uh, telemedicine mobile carts from the ground up. They bring out a cart with all the parts and pieces on it and we build it all the way up to its uh, finished state and then we uh, send them out the door to help out the uh, people in need. I am the business compliance manager for uh, work with the sales team. It's extremely important that uh, we ensure that w the, what the customers order we give them what they expect and it works in their environment and we get it right the first time. So it's extremely important. Um, uh, also just provide, I make sure and ensure that we provide great customer service to our customers in a timely fashion and we address their needs right away. We welcome this opportunity to team up with Mike Gallagher to tell you about Global Med and our integrated healthcare solutions that can fix a broken healthcare delivery system. Throughout this morning's program, we'll give you a look at our vision for the future of healthcare, not only in our country, but also in nations around the world. But now, let's join the Mike Gallagher Show, live from the Global Med headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona. Invite the debate. Mike Gallagher gets you thinking. We don't have to take this. So speak your mind. And now here's the happy conservative warrior, Mike Gallagher. <laughs> this is one of those days where it's very exciting for me to do what I get to do. I'm always searching for things that make America better. One of the themes of the Mike Gallagher show is Solutions, and especially in 2013. After the November election, I decided I'm going to stop whining, I'm going to stop complaining. Now, you know, stop is a very subjective term. But I'm going to do my best to try to cut back on the whining and the complaining and the belly aching and showcase things that are working in America. And I set, a, I set about trying to, I embarked on a mission to identify businesses and companies and individuals and entrepreneurs who are doing really exciting, successful stuff. And I'm sitting today in a beautiful TV studio in Scottsdale, Arizona, at the headquarters of a company called Global Med. And by the time this broadcast is over, you're going to know all about Global Med and you're going to learn something about telemedicine, which is so cool. The idea of being able to bring doctors to people in remote, uh, rural, or secluded areas who wouldn't ordinarily get the expertise and, and, the, and the professionalism of a doc it has blown my mind. So in a couple of minutes, you're going to meet Joel Bartholomew, who is the founder and the driving force behind this remarkable American company, Global Med. These guys are, are so, they did this out here at Global Med, too. They created this, this sort of uh, virtual set for us to broadcast from. A little history, uh, last year before Christmas time, we invited businesses and organizations who wanted to make a sizable donation of the Salvation Army to do so, and I would be willing to come to, the, to their site and broadcast for a day showcasing their business um, and their, their organization and what they do. And I had my fingers crossed that if I did that, it wouldn't be something boring. It wouldn't be something drab. It wouldn't be something where I couldn't have fun telling a story. And I've been so blessed because the stories we've discovered with this, this Salvation Army, Army partnership have been extraordinary ones, including the one today. Global Med is described as the worldwide leader in the new generation of healthcare delivery. It's called telemedicine. And I'm learning, I'm getting a, 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 a great a Harvard Business School education on telemedicine because it's this futuristic stuff that's happening now. And it's happening because of a company like Global Med. So back to Global Med, uh, uh, Joel Bartholomew, the founder, and 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 I think you're you're not CEO, right? You're director. What, what's uh, your managing director? Managing director, the managing director of Global Med, and his company said, "Okay, we'll make a great donation to the Salvation Army." And by the way, thank you for that, Joel. And as a result, here we are in your studios, in your headquarters in. Uh, 
dusty Scottsdale, Arizona today <laughs> and broadcasting from, from your business. And, and Joel, first of all, kudos to everything you've got going on right now because I'm learning about, in, in, in layman's terms, introduce the concept of telemedicine to, to people who are listening right now. Oh, thank you, Mike. Uh, telemedicine is literally the ability for a patient to see their doctor or healthcare professional and really not be in the same room or same town or same state. Uh, telemedicine allows for increased access for the patient, no matter where they are, as long as there's internet. It also lowers the cost of healthcare because you're actually having healthcare professionals see patients more readily, and it also improves the patient's outcome because they're getting the right care at the right time. I love this concept, and I saw this on the news somewhere. I was mentioning uh, to, one of, to one of your great team members, uh, 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 Roger, last night, that they were showing you wheel down the cart. Uh, the, the, the patient is in a bed somewhere in a rural area, maybe a remote area, where they, and they're having a heart problem, and they can't get in to see a cardiologist, but they need somebody to evaluate them quickly. And so this cart comes in, this futuristic, high-tech cart, and it contains what? Give me, give me, give me, for example, for a heart patient, what would a global med um, produced cart contain that allows a doctor in one state to view a patient who's having heart problems in another? Well, as long as the, that doctor is licensed properly in that state uh, where the patient is, on this cart, on this medical station that we call it, is a video system that allows for live interaction, truly live, full motion video interaction between the patient and the doctor. The patient sees the doc, the doc sees the patient. That's correct. Okay. And then there are medical devices on there, like a stethoscope, that the doctor can listen to the patient's heart sound live and direct a mid-level paraprofessional or a, uh, a healthcare technician to actually move the stethoscope around the patient's body body to get the right chest sounds or uh, pulmonary, uh, pulmonary sounds. Um, then on the cart too might be an ECG or EKG so that the doctor can actually see the, the, the patient's heart uh, sounds. That's, uh, so, so if somebody's in a rural area and they're having, they're having chest, pro chest pains, they're having heart problems, they're in some rural community and they don't really, and they, and they need help, this gives them a pathway to a cardiologist who, as you say, is licensed, who's able to evaluate that patient and decide what care they need to have. I mean, I, I, you were telling me last night about uh, situations where s truly lives are being saved by this technology, Joel. Absolutely. And, and uh, a big distinction is that the doctors and the healthcare professionals are saving those lives, but technology is enabling it to happen in real time, right. no matter where. And so in, in a couple different situations where we have installed these systems, uh, a, a study was done in Bisbee, Arizona, in the first six months of using about a $30,000 investment. That hospital saved over a half a million dollars in six months, a half a million dollars in unnecessary transports and health care additional cost to patients that really didn't need to be transported to a regional center. See, this is why I get so excited about telemedicine, and this is why I'm thrilled about Global Med, because, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about... Uh, you know, the Affordable Health Care Act. There are lots of concerns about what that's going to mean in the future. How are we going to pay for this? What, what are premiums going to be like? Uh, Health care costs uh, is something we talk about constantly. And, and, and yet there are rarely solutions to this question. How are we going to afford this? So the, question, the, the answer is you got to drive the health care costs down. It seems to me telemedicine and what you're doing here at Global Med is, a, is, a, is an incredibly effective way to do just that, to drive those costs down, no? Thank you, Mike. Yes, it is. And, but the, the, the key part is that it improves the outcomes. And so if you can actually get a patient at the right time and give them the right care, the cost structure, the costs that are in, involved with that patient go down. Wow. Tell me the story of the guy on the phone who was, started to slur his words. Okay, so actually it was in Bisbee when the uh, police chief was talking to the mayor of Bisbee, Arizona, and this was, gosh, a couple years ago, July 2nd, and they were getting ready for the parade. And 
uh, the police chief said to the mayor, Mayor, are you all right? You're slurring your words. And the mayor didn't even realize, and he said, no, no, I'm not, uh, chief. And he said, yes, you are. So the police chief took the mayor over to the Copper Queen Hospital in Bisbee, and normally that would mean, in the past, prior to telemedicine, they would go ahead and transport the mayor to Tucson, Arizona, to give him the proper care where a neurologist would be. Because to, uh, Bisbee is a smaller town, 6,000 people, no neurologist lives there. Well, they went ahead and diagnosed the mayor with a early onset stroke and provided through the Mayo Clinic here in Scottsdale the right prescription of TPA, a clot buster, that went in and actually reversed the stroke um, that the mayor had. And the mayor has very little you can't even tell that the mayor actually had a stroke. And that was diagnosed and all that was done using this te this technology, this Through telemedicine. telemedicine technology. It's an yeah. amazing story. Joel Bartholomew is with us. We're in Scottsdale today in the corporate headquarters of Global Med. And I, I urge you to go to the Global Med website because, first of all, you'll get to watch us do the show today. And you can see, in my case, a face made for radio. Uh, and Joel's a very handsome man. And, uh, you know, so I don't, you, know, you, have no, you have no such concerns. But you can go to globalmed.com. They've got this real neat setup for us here. Uh, we're really on a, in, in, a, in a studio, which is part of, I mean, not a big surprise that you guys are have a production studio in a place that is so adept at technology. I mean, you got a whole team that does just this. But but more than just watching the broadcast today, you'll also learn about this this really innovative company called Global Med, which again has emerged as the sort of the world leader in this new healthcare delivery system, what is called telemedicine. And this is a relatively new concept concept to me. I saw this news report a few weeks ago about doctors on video monitors talking to patients and, and, and interacting with patients on one of these um, towers or one of these, uh, what, do you, what do you call them, carts, I guess? Yes, telemedicine station. A telemedicine station, and people's lives are being sa saved, health care costs are being driven down, care is effective and more m more innovative. It's, an, it's a great story. You may have some questions for Joel. Uh, if so, feel free to join us because I, I'm, I'm bouncing off the walls. I've been telling my friends about it, my my colleagues uh, at the Salem Radio Network. This global med story is astounding. Feel free to join us if you if you have a question or a comment about future the future of telemedicine. Maybe you'd like to ask Joel how these uh, these stations work and 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 how practical or viable this will be for the future. One 655 Mike is our toll free number. Uh, if you'd like to talk to Joel Bartholomew, the founder and managing director of Global Med here in Scottsdale, Arizona, which is where we're brought broadcasting from today proudly, 800-655-6453. And again, I invite you, uh, if you want to watch the broadcast, to go right now to globalmed.com or go to my website, mikeonline.com. We have a link up at my way, my main website. Joel, how are doctors reacting to, to this new wave of, 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 of health care? Is there, is there a generational difference between sort of old school doctors and younger docs? How, how's that playing out? It truly is a mindset. Um, whether the age is young or old or a brand new doc in the system, most of the younger docs get the idea of telemedicine. They grew up with technology. Some of our older docs, uh, they have embraced it as well because they really know that they cannot see enough patients in the current model of delivering health care. And that telemedicine really is enabling them to see more patients, give better care, and keep the cost down to those patients and the entire system. Well, let's take a quick phone call for you. A lot of people want to ask about telemedicine. Uh, Joel Bartholomew here on our uh, our Global Med uh, TV studios in Scottsdale. Jeff, you're first up on the Mike Gallagher Show. Say hi, to, say hi to Joel Bartholomew. Hey, Joel, how you doing? I'm doing well, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. What's your question, Joel? Hey, I was Joel? just curious. I was curious uh, when I go to the doctor conventionally. I got to spend 20 minutes filling out uh, forms. If you go through this route, how are you going to acquire all that information you need from the person? Do you have somebody else get it at the other location? or That's a good question. How is that going to work? Jeff, that's a great question. Uh, today, with uh, Meaningful Use 2 uh, from our government, we have, uh, we have a need for the correct data to be put into databases that can be seen through many different systems. And so today, still, you if it's an emergency or a non-emergency situation, a little bit of information has to be achieved from you as the patient to make sure they give you the right, uh, the right care. And so that is all done electronically through electronic medical records. 
uh, that rec that information then can be shared between all your caregivers and so that you do transfer information more quickly. If you notice, uh, I mean, if you've been to the doctor recently, as I have, uh, if you are seen by your primary care, you give them information. Then the next time you go to the specialist that the, the primary care referred you to, you're again filling out all that same information. It's all been paper. That's changing. That will change in the next couple of years where it'll all be into your EMR and through the ele electronic health care exchange. Literally, that information will be shared. Exciting stuff. Joel Bartholomew is with us. GlobalMed.com is the site. We're going to be talking off and on during this broadcast today about this exciting new technology. Sort of the, you know, I probably shouldn't use this branding, but the iPhone of healthcare. You know, the, the, because we talk all the time, Joel, about the ever-changing world we're in with technology. And, uh, and, and Global Med has been on the cutting edge of this for a, a long time, since, what, 2002, correct? 2002, that's correct. GlobalMed.com is the site. If you want to watch our broadcast today, we've got a lot to cover here, and again, we'll visit some more with Joel Bartholomew and take some more calls and talk about Global Med, the worldwide leader in the new generation of healthcare delivery systems, telemedicine, and very, very gracious donors to our Salvation Army Red Kettle campaign, helping the Salvation Army do an awful lot of good for an awful lot of people. Everybody wins. Hello, I'm Roger Downey. We hope you're enjoying the live streaming of the Mike Gallagher Show this morning from the Global Med headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona. And while we're in this break, we thought we would tell you about telemedicine and how it's improving health care. The city of Reno is a health care oasis in the vast desert of northern Nevada. Unless you live in Reno, the availability of health care in northern Nevada or eastern California when you need it has been a real gamble. Recently, however, technology has begun to close the wide open spaces between patients and doctors. Telemedicine promises to reduce the time it takes to see a doctor, the time you spend getting there, and the cost. Renown Health, based in Reno, operates multiple hospitals in northern Nevada. In this case, whether it's Winnemucca, Nevada, you know, Elko, Nevada, um, Fallon, Nevada, how do you manage the 10,000 people that live in that community in such a way that they get that right care at the right time, at the right location, so that we can bring that cost curve for those medical expenditures under control? That's the question Kirk Gillis, who heads the telemedicine program for Renown, has been trying to answer. The Renown Regional Medical Center is a tertiary facility with an 80,000 square mile coverage area in Nevada and Eastern California. That's the same size as the entire state of Kansas. Elko in northeastern Nevada, for example, is 117 miles from the Utah border. It's more than twice that far to Reno, making for an expensive road trip. When you look at the time lost from work, the cost of meals, hotel, uh, caring for kids and uh, parents. Most of the people that live on the outer edge of our service area, it costs them about $800 to $1,100 to, to go see a specialist for a 15 to 30 minute doctor's appointment. That's a pretty big barrier to getting the care that you need when you need it. Costly emergency medical help is often decided by the elements. Helicopter rides in this region are $7,000. And when you get to areas, Mammoth, California, Bishop, California, Lone Pine, Elko, the helicopters can't travel those distances uh, in those weather conditions. You're talking fixed wing air transport and the cost is even higher. Renown has embarked on a two-phase program, using telemedicine to connect rural clinics and patients to providers in Reno, and a hospital-based initiative to bring specialty care to outlying facilities. So this is our telemedicine machine that we've purchased from Global Med. The Carson Valley Medical Center is located in Gardnerville, south of Carson City. The large retirement population there has a difficult time traveling, so the availability of specialty care at the community hospital is a real plus. 
That's the real benefit of telemedicine is being able to get a specialist, a consultation where the patient can just come right into our hospital, into this private room and um, enjoy that privacy and be able to get a consultation within 10 days of the physician's request for a consultation. We improve the quality of care in these rural communities by enabling specialists to collaborate with rural providers and we'd reduce the cost of care by getting the patients treated earlier in their condition rather than later. And I think the, the patients really appreciate it. The feedback that we're getting in these surveys has been extremely positive. 25 specialties provide weekly blocks of time reserved exclusively for telemedicine patients, proof of the buy-in by renowned healthcare specialists. They really believe that telemedicine is a way to improve care in the rural communities. It's a, help, it's a way for them to kind of increase the outreach for their practices into these rural communities. And they also believe it's the right thing to do for our community and for our regional health care initiatives. Uh, it's, it's been fantastic. We are looking to bring on 10 more specialties in 2013. We hope by the end of 2013 that we'll have 35 specialties up and running and we're actively scheduling patients every day, every week with all of these different specialties. Telemedicine is healthcare reform. With it, we can provide access to health care. We can keep health care costs under control and reduce unnecessary costs while providing quality health care to improve patient outcomes. Global Med is proud to be leading the way in this new generation of health care. Now, let's get back to the Mike Gallagher Show. Here on the Mike Gallagher Show. We're on the road today. We're in... Um, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, in, in the headquarters of a place called Global Med. And this is an exciting day for me because uh, I'd been looking forward to this for some time. Last year, uh, Joel Bartholomew and the team at Global Med made a dramatic, uh, sizable donation to the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign that we do every year in exchange for my willingness to come broadcast from the location where the business originates. And that's, what, that's how I learned about Global Med. Joel Bartholomew, who's the founder and the managing director of Global Med, is with, with us on the, in this real neat TV studio that you guys have set up in your Global Med headquarters. Joel, it's great having you back with us on the Mike Gallagher Show. Let me again thank you uh, for your donation to the Salvation Army and your support of this great organization helping people do the most good. Thanks for what you guys did last year. Well, thank you, Mike. It is our honor to have you here with us. Um, you know, we're we're fortunate enough that we've been uh, sec somewhat successful in the uh, in the space of telemedicine, and it's allowed us to uh, do a great deal of uh, donating to worthy causes. And the Salvation Red Kettle cause is uh, is a very worthy yeah. one. Thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, well, it's my pleasure. I, I, and I love spotlighting businesses. This is a very important. Um, mission of mine and listeners know that I love meeting people like you and showcasing companies like Global Med. I just was looking on my Facebook fan page because we have a link up to globalmed.com where you can walk and this studio is state of the art. You guys have set up this virtual studio here. Uh, I'm not going to give away any secrets. I will only say that it looks splendid to the to the viewer if you go to globalmed.com right now you can watch us do this broadcast and you can see the set that we're sitting on and uh, the amazing facility that they have here at global med again not a big surprise for me because you guys are pioneers and and, and you're on the cutting edge technologically uh, but but tell me first of all what what, what is the studio used for I mean obviously you didn't just set up a, this massive TV studio just for me I'd like to think you did but I suspect you did not we did uh, we really Really worked hard after December after we uh, made that donation to make sure this was ready for you today. Uh, no, actually, uh, Global Med is a company that, uh, as I shared earlier, d creates, develops, pioneers some of the technology that is out there for telemedicine. But in the process of bringing new technologies to bear, there's a lot of training that goes along with that. And so last year, in 2012, our training department trained over four thousand physicians, nurses, professionals in healthcare, biomed folks across the country and outside the USA, trained them in the proper use of telemedicine so they could get the most delivery benefits and reduced workflow 
for the doctors that use our systems. Wow. So, so you use this kind of video interactive stuff regularly. That's correct. And so, and then also what we do is uh, we make our studio available to others. Just recently we had uh, a film crew in here that is releasing a movie in a couple months called Rumors of War. And that movie crew came in and they actually used this green screen stage here to create some additional video that they needed for their trailers and for their uh, shots of uh, the their movie coming wow. up. Wow. Well, what you guys have done with this green, seed, stre green screen stage for the Mike Gallagher Show is pretty impressive. And I hope if you, if, as you're listening to the show today, if you are by a computer, you'll log on to globalmed.com and check it out. It, it, it's really, really impressive. Joel, walk us through... Um, telemedicine. Tell me a little bit about wh why this kind of technology is 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 driving down the costs of healthcare, saving lives, and 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 how this is being embraced by the medical community. First of all, what is telemedicine in a nutshell? Sure, telemedicine again is the connectivity of a doctor and a patient through distance over the internet or through private networks and it really doesn't matter where the patient is or where the doctor is as, uh, outside of the proper licensing. I mean, I was I was first introduced to this, if I can interject, I was watching a news program a couple weeks ago, and there was a guy in a rural area that was having health problems, but he didn't have the kind of specialists, he didn't have the doctors at his disposal in the community where he lived. So what happened was they wheeled down a cart, uh, a station, I guess you call it, a telemedicine station, uh, you guys had, that, that you out fit with uh, all kinds of technology a technician basically brings the cart into the 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 the, 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 the room where the where the patient is and ca they can interact electronically with a doctor who might be miles and miles away maybe in another state but is able to look at this uh, at this at, at a patient and interact with them in a virtual way and it, it saved the guy's life that's absolutely correct. And also get the information from the CT scan, the MRI, whatever the medical data that is achieved where the patient is can be shared to where the doctor is and the right clinical decisions are made. Saving, hopefully saving that patient's life or improving the outcomes of that patient, therefore lowering our costs and improving the entire system. Telemedicine is healthcare reform. There's really no way in our country that we can meet the needs of the fewer position, physicians that are going to be in our system right. in the next few years and the increased 30 million patients that will now have insurance starting January 1. So this is how we, we hear the phrase health care reform. This is why I'm excited about being here today in Scottsdale, Arizona, because this is literal health care reform. It is. And uh, telemedicine is changing not only in America, changing America's system of delivery, but across the world. It's not a strictly a U.S. problem having physicians see patients with proper access. It is a global issue. Well, let's talk about that with a caller who wants to, to, to ask you a question, Joel Bartholomew, about um, the, the altruistic side of global med, and are you able to help people all over the world? Here's Sarah. Hey, Sarah, welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show in Scottsdale today. How are you? Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm an 84-year-old physician, MD. Wow. <laughs> wow. Graduated from medical school in the 50s. Wow. Started out in a country practice in Pennsylvania with my big black bag and babies and the whole schmear. Wow. Wow. Uh, and so I know what it is to practice in the country. <laughs> sure. Uh, my question is, is this going to be available to, like, missionaries? Um, in Africa or you know, yeah. wherever. Yeah, it's a great question, Doctor. Thank you so much, and thanks for, for your lifetime of service uh, to your patients. Joel, what about missions, uh, mission work and, and, and helping people in, in, in impoverished areas around the world? Absolutely. Uh, after the earthquake in Haiti, doctors uh, from all over the U.S. went there and helped the people of Haiti. Uh, we donated a bunch of our products, so, which allowed the doctors to grab live images and share them with doctors back in the U.S. Wow. so that the proper care could be given. Just, re just recently in uh, Brazil, if you remember the Santa Maria fire in the nightclub, killed over 200 people, but over 100 people that survived had internal and external burns mm -hmm. uh, internally from the gases that were released in, during the fire. Well, they didn't have a way of transporting over 100 patients to the regional, to, the, to Sao Paulo or Rio, and so they literally flew in. The, the health minister of Brazil flew in one of our products, we call the transportable exam station, from Sao Paulo 
into Santa Maria on a small plane and actually delivered care from their specialists at Albert Einstein Hospital in Sao Paulo. Wow. Changing the outcome again of those people. But for as far as missionaries around the world are utilizing new technology so that they can actually get the professional care from America and from around the world. How cool. That very, very exciting stuff. Well, listen, go to globalmed.com to learn more about this uh, truly innovative company. I'm so honored to be here today and showcase Global Med. And again, if you're, if you're not in front of your computer, get in front of your computer and watch our broadcast because it's a thing to behold the way you guys have put this set together. Uh, go to uh, globalmed.com and you can watch the Mike Gallagher Show broadcast live uh, and you can see the show as well as listen to the show and learn about Global Med. Learn about telemedicine because it's changing the face of healthcare forever and we're going to visit some more with Joel Bartholomew as we continue this special edition of the Mike Gallagher Show. We'll return to the Mike Gallagher Show from the Global Med headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona, but while we're in a break, let me tell you about a telemedicine success story. The eastern slopes of the Sierra Nevadas in California are popular, picturesque getaways. In the past, residents, both temporary and permanent, had to drive to Reno, Nevada, Truckee, or Sacramento for specialty health care. Now, an expanding telemedicine program offers more convenient health care that is available close to home. Portola is the only incorporated city in Plumas County, California, with a headcount of just over 2,100 people. During the summer months, the population in this mountain community rises with tourists, but many of the residents make it their year-round home. For primary and emergency care, Portolans go to their medical clinic, but the distances to large cities, which may have been the drawing card in the first place for some of the residents, were working against them when it came to the need for specialty care. The California Telehealth Network now brings specialty care to eastern Plumas County. This community is a long way from anywhere, as you know from driving up here, and our local patients find it uh, extremely advantageous not to have to make long drives to be uh, seen by consultants. Uh, it also is a time factor, of course. It takes a long time to get a patient into a, a specialist in Sacramento. Uh, so it, it's very helpful in that regard, and I think the community really appreciates that feature of it. Loyalton in Sierra County, about 30 miles away, is just about as isolated, and it has less than half the residents of Portola. Despite its location, the community can now provide care to Loyalton cancer patients, with one of the very few nationally certified nurse practitioners involved in oncology telemedicine. We've been working with Tahoe Forest Cancer Center and a lot of patients out here in this area do travel to Truckee, which is an hour north of here in the wintertime that gets kind of sketchy. So we're able to treat these patients via telemedicine with Dr. Heifetz every week. Um, they don't have to travel. They're able to get the same care. They can get their blood work done here, tests here. So it's more convenient for the patients. The day we were there, a psychiatrist in Bakersfield told us that telemedicine eases her Loyalton patients' anxiety. They don't need to physically, you know, you know, even approach me and uh, do that. I'm in the television. I still can talk to them. They still can listen to me. Mark Schweier learned a lot before and during the startup of his telemedicine program and knows what he would tell others in his state who may be considering one. Well, first of all, I would, I would take the time to visit somebody that's actually doing telemedicine at, at a successful level. Um, look for those areas of, of in facilities and centers that are doing programs that you see a need in your community to, to get up and running and then most importantly really reach out to the resources that are there reach out to the California Telehealth Network they've been great partners for us. Schweier says return on investment is important but people often overlook the hidden value added services that a telemedicine program brings to an organization. Absolutely. One of the things that we realized that we're doing is we're building, rebuilding confidence in our community. We've heard a number of comments from our, our community that they're very, the confidence is building back up again and their, their desire to, to remain here in our setting and feel like they can be taken care of well is really building much, 
quicker than we, we had anticipated. The California Telehealth Network began as a pilot program to increase access to acute, primary, and preventive health care in rural America. Now it is using that network to leverage the investment to advance the telecommunications and healthcare technology. Once complete, the network will connect more than 800 California healthcare providers in underserved areas. Telemedicine is the future of healthcare, but it is here now and it is working. Now let's get back to the Mike Gallagher Show this morning from the Global Med headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona. to be happy when I get to meet people like Joel Bartholomew, um, Roger Downey, the, the, the neat people behind a company like Global Med. But let me tell you, first of all, where we are and why we're here. We're set up on this, in this really neat soundstage in a studio at a place called Global Med. And Joel Bartholomew is the, the founder of Global Med and the managing director. And Joel, it's great having you with us here on. Thanks, first of all, for your hospitality and in, in welcoming the Mike Gallagher Show. And of course, we're here because last year, during the Christmas season, you guys made a great donation of the Salvation Army. We invited businesses and corporations who wanted to step up and make a big donation to my Salvation Army Red Kettle campaign that I would come out and broadcast from your location in exchange for that donation and you guys did that and so that's why we're here today but boy what a story global med has to tell you must be so proud this has got to be you got to this has got to be like your baby you got to be very proud of your baby Joel yeah I'm well first of all I'm very honored that you have come out your team has come out and helped us put this together and and uh, as a uh, as a founder and and the the person that uh, has the joy of running this business I'm a blessed man because I work with 120 people that are so dedicated to changing the healthcare delivery systems around the world that um, I, I really am just so blessed. Well, we all are, and, and, and I'm honored to meet you today and to, to be able to tell our listeners about telemedicine. Uh, Global Med is the world leader in this, in this relatively new field. Tell us what telemedicine is. I just had a listener on Facebook who's watching us, and you can watch this broadcast, by the way. They've got these big, beautiful, state-of-the-art cameras, and we're under all these lights and on this really neat set today broadcasting. You can watch us at globalmed.com. It's a really neat setup. Uh, one of my listeners on Facebook, where we have a link posted as well, said, is this what my insurance company keeps talking about being teledocs, teledocs? Is this sort of the equivalent he wanted to know of what a teledoc is? Well, it is the telemedicine and teledoc is the, the ability for a patient to be seen by the right doctor, the specialist, if you will, at the right time and not have the distance come in between the doctor and the patient. And so whether it's here in, um, in Scottsdale and we're being seen by a, uh, I'm being seen by a physician in Phoenix or in Albuquerque, the fact is telemedicine bridges that gap that allows for not only the live interaction, but a lot of the not live interaction where images are gathered, vital signs are gathered, and then put up into the EMR or the cloud system so that it can be viewed at a later time and see my progress, whether I'm declining or getting better. So cool because there's so many people who don't have the resources. If you're not in a major metropolitan location, if you're not in a big city, you might not have access to a neurologist or a cardiologist or some kind of health care professional specialist. You could be in a rural area. Listen, it wasn't too long ago, I was in my beloved Greenville, South Carolina, and I came down with double pneumonia, and we were having a hard time at night locating a medical professional, uh, even in a, in, a, in a booming area like the upstate of South Carolina. And so Telemedicine allows docs to have an interaction with patients uh, in a way where they or ordinarily wouldn't connect, right? That's correct. So let's say, let's say when you went to your urgent care center that you literally should have been at an emergency room. Imagine I, I should have. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. And so if you, if you would have had a telemedicine system between that urgent care and the emergency room physician, you could have maybe possibly got better care sooner and and not find out a day or two later that you actually had pneumonia. Right, that would have been nice. Let's, let's talk about the role that Global Med is playing with the VA uh, because the VA gets a lot of bum raps, I think, a lot of criticism about the Veterans Administration health care system, and yet Global Med is, is doing an awful lot of work with the VA. And after, as I learned from you last night over dinner, 
there's there's a different story to tell, for, at least with with your experience with working with the VA and the administrative administration officials at the VA, right? Yes, that's that is correct, Mike. I will uh, I'll say once again, you know, I'm I'm blessed with the people I work with here, but truly, all of my employees, all of my staff, are very blessed to work with the VA. I've never never witnessed as much care and concern about our nation's vets as I have from the administrators of the of the VA because they really care about delivering care and whether that care is here in Phoenix if it's in Denver or if it's in Guam the VA has a responsibility to deliver care to our nation's valued veterans, and they do it with telemedicine today better than they've ever done it before. And, and you say they have th that their instincts are in the right place in terms of wanting to deliver the best possible care to our nation's vets. Because let's face it, Joel, the, the, the narrative that some try to spin is that the VA doesn't really care about our vets. They don't provide good care. They don't really provide good treatment. That has not been global med or Joel Bartholomew's experience at all, has Ab it? Absolutely not. These people truly care. And what they've been able to do with uh, with providing care in remote locations is, the, I don't know if you know, but the VA has 150 hospitals around, around the U.S. Right. They have now about 800 community-based outreach centers where they are delivering care. Uh, to this is apart from the 150 hospitals. That's correct. So okay. in rural areas, so if you're more than 25, 30 miles away from a hospital, they have put in areas of concentrations of, of, uh, of vets, they have put these community-based outreach centers. And it's been so successful that the VA has eliminated the copay for the vets seeing their doctors through telemedicine. And, and that's groundbreaking. Wow, that's it's 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 such a great story, and 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 so the VA has has partnered basically with Global Med, and your devices are all over all over VA centers and and these rural outreach communities uh, or, or locations all over the country. Yeah, we are a vendor to the VA, and we have roughly about two thousand systems in the VA, uh, from Guam to uh, through Puerto Rico to the Virgin Islands and everywhere in the U.S. Wow, that's a that's such a neat story. I I, I want to talk. So some more about about driving down health care costs. I want to talk about the, the the global med story, and I invite our listeners to join us. A lot of a lot of listeners are asking me questions on Facebook that I'm not qualified to answer, but I know Joel Bartholomew is. So feel free to join us if you have a question or a comment about our our, our focus today on telemedicine, global med. And Joel told me last night, and Roger as well over dinner. Listen, our goal here is to educate people about telemedicine. Sure, we we want the world to know about global med. But it's also important to know about this new kind of technology that is driving down the costs of health care, that is making health care more accessible to lot, lots more people. Uh, and, and this is just one of those great success stories that I'm proud to tell you about here on the Mike Gallagher Show. So feel free to join us. If you have a question or a comment about glo uh, telemedicine or global med, feel free to join us. 1-800-655-MIKE, our toll-free number, 800-655-6453. We'll continue with Joel Barthes here in the Global Med corporate headquarters in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Continuing the Mike Gallagher Show from Scottsdale, Arizona, we're in the Global Med headquarters with Joel Bartholomew, who's the founder and uh, managing director of Global Med, talking about telemedicine, the, the new wave. I, I love answers to problems like soaring health care costs, Joel. And, and let's talk a little bit about um, taxes. Let's talk about fees. Let's talk about the cost of conventional health care. And let's talk about what you wanted to, to, to address, and that is a, a tax on devices, right? Yeah, the medical device tax. Let, let's 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 dive into that for a little bit. How does that impact this world of telemedicine? And if, again, in layman's terms, let's talk about the medical device tax and how it impacts the the, the patient. Sure. Well, the medical device tax is a two point three percent excise tax on the top line of a medical device company here in the U.S. Now there are over seven thousand medical device companies in the U.S. Uh, of which we make up about 40%. The U.S. makes up 40% of the global market for devices. Wow. Okay, 98% of those companies have less than 500 employees. 98% of those 7,000 companies, less than 
uh, 500 employees and 90% less than 100. So these are small businesses right. providing the new generation of healthcare technologies. And what's happening is that the new device tax with that 2.3% on the top line, that can equate to as much as 50% of the profit of that company. Wow. And so what's happening is a lot of device manufacturers are literally not hiring people. Mm -hmm. They're worried about this tax. And it went into effect as of January 1. Now, for us, we are a, a little bit of a successful company because we are really changing the delivery systems of healthcare. And we understand that we have to, you know, pay our fair share, literally. Hmm. But I'm just concerned, and all of us here at Global Med are concerned about the new startups that are in devices. They're in telemedicine trying to change a broken system. Right. That when you hit them with that excise tax on the top dollar revenue. It breaks their backs. It breaks their backs. Yeah, it really and, then, does. and then we will lose the innovation. Right. And we will lose the new generation. Well, that's what I've talked, and we talk about this for years. I mean, frankly, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to turn this into a political conversation. I know you, you need to be politically neutral, but frankly, these regulations, these taxes, they, they break the backs, they break the will, the spirit, and they, they eliminate the, the innovators, right? They, 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 they discourage yes. the innovation. They, it, it thwarts creativity and innovation. All I can say is that if that tax would have went into effect about five or six years ago when we were not making any money, that additional 2.3% would have been a huge hindrance to us being here today. Right, right. And so that's what I'm worried about, and that's what we're worried about as a company for the, for the other small companies trying to get started. Well, this has been such a neat day, and I, again, I invite every listener who's, who's, who's uh, hearing our, our voices right now to go to globalmed.com. Not only can you watch this special edition of the Mike Gallagher Show on this beautiful uh, soundstage and this great virtual set that you guys have created, but you're going to learn about Global Med, the worldwide leader in the new generation of healthcare delivery systems, uh, what is called telemedicine. And, and, and Joel, I hope you know how grateful we are to you for your donation to the Salvation Army Red Kettle campaign. Um, you know, in, in, I, w I want to sort of wrap this segment up by acknowledging that I hear telemedicine being touted as a, uh, touted as a short-term solution to healthcare costs. It really isn't. It's a long-term solution, is it not? It is. It's a the long future. Term. It is the future. I mean, it, it, this is what doctors are going to are going to going to have to more and more rely on to deliver health care to their, to their patients. The fact is, in the next few years, we will be 100,000 physicians short in the U.S. of A. Because we are not graduating enough physicians, and those physicians that are graduating and going into practice, they really don't want to do as much family practice or primary care. They're going into the specialties because literally primary care has not paid favorably to doctors after they in, in literally take on hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt becoming a doctor. Right, right. It's a great story. And I, and I hope everybody goes to globalmed.com, watch the broadcast, learn about Global Med. And listen, Joel, uh, I, I want to make sure that the decision makers, people who are hospital administrators, people who run, uh, I'm a big fan of these urgent care facilities. If it wasn't for an urgent care on Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greenville, South Carolina, I wouldn't have been diagnosed with double pneumonia a couple of months ago. I mean, the hospital missed it, and they didn't. And, and these urgent care facilities, I, I got to believe, are a big part of your 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 business model, right? Absolutely. In fact, uh, very soon we'll be releasing a new application that is on your iPhone, on your smartphone, that actually helps you in an emergency type situation, whether or not you need to go to an emergency room or not at all, or go to an urgent care, and then wow. show you where that urgent care uh, center or emergency room is quickly on your phone, or dial 911 to, to literally have someone pick you up at your location on your GPS setting on your phone. All kinds of cutting edge technology. Go to globalmed.com to learn more and make sure you support a great company that supported the Mike Gallagher Show and the Salvation Army in this profound way. Joel, it's been great visiting with you today. I've had a ball. Oh, it's been my pleasure, truly. Thank you for what you do. Globalmed.com. There's more coming up from Scottsdale and the Global Med headquarters, including a trip to Cuba that has one U.S. senator steamed. That and more coming up. I, I want to bring back uh, into our, our, our conversation today um, Joel Bartholomew, who's the uh, the uh, uh, managing director and the founder of Global Med. It's been a great day for us, Joel, to learn a little bit about Global Med and about telemedicine. This really is the future. What's, what, what do you want our listeners to take away from our visit today in terms of learning about Global Med and telemedicine? What's, what's the, gr the big takeaway for the American consumer, for the patient, for the taxpayer? 
Yeah, well, I would say probably more important is uh, just the fact that as patients of, a, of our healthcare system, we, c we really have a say, and we need to talk to our legislature. We need to go ahead and talk to our congressmen, our senators, our, st our, our governors in our state, and demand that telemedicine be reimbursed on par with an in-person visit. Right. And I think that really will help change because uh, change the the paradigm of divert the the fact that we can't get health care often when we need it. But you mentioned something about the VA. They're so impressed with telemedicine and what your global med technology is doing at the VA centers around the country. They waive the copay for patients who use it. Absolutely, they're waiving the copay because literally the telemedicine system has give, has increased the the outcomes of the patients of, the, of our U.S. vets. Right, so they see that outcome, and that's what it's all about, right? Besides just the cost, yep. it's, 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 it's coming up with a better outcome. They're saving a ton of money at the VA because they actually pay our nation's vets to travel to a health care center. And when it's two, 300 miles away and a night stay, that gets expensive. But now with the CBOCs, community-based outreach centers, they literally can be seen in their home communities. What a great story. Go to globalmed.com. It's been a great day to learn about telemedicine. Uh, I, I, again, as you know, my goal in 2013 and beyond is to try to be more about solutions and positive outcomes and answers rather than just complaining. And Global Med they don't like complaining. They come up with answers, and they've done a great job. It's an extraordinary company, and I can see why with the vision of, uh, of their leader, uh, uh, who, who's joined us, Joel Bartholomew. Globalmed.com, we so appreciate you rolling out the red carpet for us today, Joel. It's been a great, great day, a very enlightening experience here on the Mike Gallagher Show. We continue to fight the good fight each and every day. I'm Mike Gallagher. God bless America.